I was gonna say welcome to Vogue, but this is definitely not a Vogue video, but I'm gonna pretend it is anyway. I'm obsessed with the Vogue Beauty Secrets videos. I watch literally every single one, even if I don't know who the person is, especially because they're like actual celebrities. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. I've had this video idea for a while and then I saw Nylea do it and I was like, okay, I have to do it now. So that's what this video is gonna be. I'm gonna be showing you my natural makeup routine and pretending that we're in a Vogue video, which is why we're in my bathroom, even though I don't have a bathroom with a window. So this is artificial lighting and my bathroom is not a aesthetic at all. It's so small. I can touch both walls at the same time. <laughs> so this is just not a real Vogue video, obviously. I already have a makeup routine on my channel for when I do like my full out makeup routine, but this is going to be a more natural no makeup makeup routine, even though it's like obvious that I'm wearing makeup. I feel like this is the perfect summer makeup routine. This makeup probably takes me like 20 minutes to do, maybe less. Okay, but the first step that I do every day is use a sunscreen moisturizer. This is the Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen. I think this is a crucial step. I didn't put sunscreen on in my last makeup routine because I didn't include like my prepping steps and I got yelled at by every single person in the comments. I don't want to be wrinkly and sun damaged. I've been obsessed with this Glossier Future Dew oil. This is like the best primer I've ever used. It says to add it into your skincare routine and it makes your face so glowy and it does. It's literally the best thing ever. I put this all over. Can you see how that already made me pretty shiny? But I want to be more shiny. I want to look what is it? I want to shine like the top of the Chrysler building. So I use Soap and Glory Glow and Do It Luminous Concentrate Elixir. The dropper on this is broken, so it's literally the biggest mess ever of all time. So I just kind of smear it like that onto the high points of my face. A little goes a long way with this though, so I used probably way too much. This dries really quickly, so you kind of have to just rub it in right away. Like, look at my nose. It looks highlighted. It's just like blended with your skin. It's amazing. I love it. Okay. Then I use a skin tint rather than a foundation. It's a Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. Mine is in the shade G9. I don't know if that helps you. I'm very pale right now. I'm probably gonna have to get a darker one after my vacation. Hopefully, if I get tan. I just literally drop it onto my face. I don't touch the dropper to my face. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use your fingers to blend it in, but I hate the feeling of my fingers and the product, so I use a beauty blender. And I just do like one section at a time, blend it in, and then put it on the next section. It doesn't add much coverage. It kind of just evens my skin tone, but it's very sheer and very thin, but that's why I use it, because I don't want to feel like I'm wearing foundation. But I do like to have some coverage under my eyes and I would use less full coverage concealer but all I have is the Tarte Shape Tape. So that's what I'm gonna be using but I'm just gonna use a very, very little amount because of how full coverage this is. And then I'm also gonna put it on that pimple that's forming on my forehead. Now that that concealer is blended, I always feel like that kind of covers up my shine a little bit. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. I'm in the shade Dream. I think it's a liquid highlight with a little bit of coverage in it. I don't really know. Okay, then the next step is a bronzer. I swear by this now. It is the Cash Beauty Bronzer Stick in the shade Sandy Beach. The color is just so perfect for me. I put this a little higher than my cheekbones, just like that much. And I blend it up and into my hairline. Are you seeing the cheekbone I'm creating? Amazing. Okay, then once I do that, I go up onto my forehead a little bit and then I just blend it into my hairline. I do one more like bronzing step just because I want to look really bronzed and tan. Please excuse the disgusting packaging again, but I use the Glossier Solar Paint in the shade Heat. I'll just put like the littlest amount right there. Where did my nail go? Did this like fall off during the making of this video? But yeah, I just blend this again up and into my hairline. Next step is I go in with the Cash Beauty Blush Stick in the shade Love Language. Put it like this, up my cheekbone, and blend. And then I go in with the last Cash Beauty Stick, which is the highlight in the shade Golden Hour, onto the high points of my cheekbones. But this I blend with my finger, just so I can really concentrate it on that spot I want it into my brow bone and above my brow. And then I take a little bit down my nose and keep it bow. I do use a little bit of powder, but I only focus it in certain areas. So I'll take this Morphe M449 brush and then the KVD Lock It Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. Pack it under both of my eyes. Make sure that's not creased. Then the next thing I do is actually a little bit of nose contour, but I usually do this before I put on powder, but I kind of forgot. But I just go back in with the bronze stick. So what I'll do is I'll just like tap, not drag a line, like see how light that line is and create two little lines like that and then blend them with my finger. And then I also go under the tip of my nose like this, blend that, and then I do a little line 
blend that to create a little button nose and that is my nose contoured it's very easy very quick okay then is eyebrows i'm just gonna take a spoolie brush through my eyebrows and i take the anastasia brow pen to fill in my scar i feel like i don't need to learn because i doubt anyone has the same scar as me but i just do little strokes to make them look like real hairs and then i'm gonna go and touch up this eyebrow a little bit i feel like an important part to keeping a makeup routine looking natural is like not touching the front of your eyebrows unless you really have to because that's when you can like see that there's product so I kind of just leave the front of my eyebrows alone. My favorite brow gel in the entire world is the NYX Brow Glue. I swear by this stuff. It actually holds my thick and coarse eyebrows in place. I brush all of them up and a little bit to the side so they're not like straight up. I just have As It Was by Harry Styles on loop in my head. I can't get it out. Um, not that I'm complaining, but I'm actually low-key going insane because it's been replaying in my head for like three days straight. This is when I put on setting spray. Ew, this is so crusty. But I use the NYX Matte Finish setting spray. I wish I I had a dewy finish but I don't so I like to do my mascara after because it makes my mascara bleed onto my face so I'm gonna let this dry real quick <laughs> okay now that that's like semi dry this is where I do my faux freckles I wish I had real freckles so I usually do fake ones <laughs> I use the Lottie London freckle tint just like all my other products it's absolutely disgusting it's just like a little brush like this I do dots make little dots in no particular order some dark some light some big some small and do that over the entire bridge of my nose once those are on there and they're looking kind of dark just take one of your fingers and this will like spread them around make them lighter and just blend it all together you can barely tell that they're there from afar now i'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and a powder bronzer i use a Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and i just use this as my eyeshadow a little bit i go all over my lid kind of just do that to bring a little color to my eyelid and i kind of pull it out a little to lift my eye and just drag that a little bit under my eyes really close to my lash line this step is like very weird but i take my brow pen that i already used and do a little winged liner that's very very small not very obvious and this is a brown color instead of black so it's not as harsh the tiniest of little wings then I go in with a white eyeliner. I really like this Wet n Wild one. They sent it to me and it's all worn out so I can't see what it says, but it's by Wet n Wild. And I do this on my bottom waterline very lightly. And that is with the white eyeliner and that's without. And I feel like this opens my eye so much. Like, can you see the difference? It's crazy. Then I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna do lashes last, even though I usually do lips last. I hate doing my eyelashes. It's my least favorite part of my makeup routine, so. I'm gonna use this NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. In order to make this look like I'm not wearing lip product, I'm just gonna fill in my cupid's bow a little bit and line my natural lip, not overline. Rub that together a little bit. That's if I do a matte lip, I will literally just do the lip liner and nothing else. If I want to do a gloss, which I'm kind of feeling today, I have two lip glosses that I usually use. This is the Glossier Clear Lip Gloss. It doesn't look clear because I always put it on after lip liner, so it turned pink. Or the Morphe Lip Oil in the shade Flutter. I'm going to go for this one today because this has pigment in it beautiful for the last step i'm gonna do mascara this is a very natural mascara this is the sugar rush lash smoothie in black and i'm just gonna coat my eyelashes in this but not to the point where they look super clumpy i'm just gonna try to make it look natural this is really hard to show on camera so i'm gonna do it off camera because i'm pretty sure you know how to put on mascara the mascara is on makeup is done and now i'm gonna bring you out into the natural lighting so you can actually see every pore crevice and crease on my face let's go Ta-da! here i am in the light of day i feel like this makeup routine is just what i've been trying to achieve for years and have finally figured it out i do this every time i'm wearing makeup during the day if it's like nighttime i'll do a little bit more full out which i have a routine for already but i've been loving a lot more of the natural look recently quick do it in 20 minutes and yeah that was my vogue beauty secrets video i hope you enjoyed this has been very much requested for an updated makeup routine so here it is the only thing i'll change about this routine sometimes if i'm feeling a little crazy is i will take a fake eyelash cut it in half and use the outer part and lay it on my outer lashes so that there's more of a cat eye effect that's really the only thing i will change up if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye